Four-year-old Dahi McGowan is waiting on a new heart. But this little boy from Belfast has captured the hearts of political leaders with his Donate for Dahi campaign to raise awareness around organ donation and change the law. He was born with a condition called hypoplastic left heart syndrome, which basically means he was born with half a heart. And there's, there's certain surgeries that can, there's no cure for this, but there's certain surgeries that can manage it. Dahi has had two out of three of those surgeries, and unfortunately, because he can't get the third stage, he now needs the, 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 the last chance, which is the, the gift of a new heart. Playing on the same team with a common goal, Northern Ireland's First and Deputy First Ministers are both supporting a proposed new opt-out law, which would make everyone in Northern Ireland organ donors, unless they state otherwise. Those that don't want to, because it's called soft opt-out, can sign up to say they don't want anything. At, the, at, 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 a, at a crisis time, uh, families will be consulted ultimately and nothing will happen without the uh, consent of, if, of the, uh, the family and the individual. The new system could increase the number of organ donors here each year. This bill could see a potential of between 10 and 20 additional, do additional donors uh, per year. Uh, on average we see a donor bringing forward seven to nine organs, so this is 180 lives could be potentially changed because of this piece of legislation. The bill will have to be debated in the Northern Ireland Assembly in the months ahead and it's hoped it could be passed in the early part of next year. Hope is the only thing that we have really. Hope is the biggest and it's hope is so powerful. You know, back when Dahi was just given under a 10% chance of survival, there was basically no hope, but there was a glimmer, and that glimmer has just gotten brighter over the last few years. We're not where we want to be at this moment in time. However, it's a lot brighter than it was then. Laura Hogan, RTE News, Belfast.